so we have a black and white movie, but what if I want to add the scratchiness and make this look like a vintage video? So the first thing I'll tell you is that I'm giving you a folder in the links descriptions with a couple different videos that you can use for this. So like if I click on this one, I can add this, this scratchiness over top of it, these wires, that'll make it look vintage. Or there's another one that you can just kind of see, or dirt. I just want to view it. There's just there's a couple different videos here that you can download for your use. I'm going to use the scratches, hair, dust, no noise. So you do have to click on it, and you do need to download it. It's going to go to your downloads folder. I'm going to come over to Premiere and use my playhead to kind of get to the beginning of the video because I want my my scratch to appear on, on top of it's overlaying my current video. I also might need to use this over here to give me room to use my second video track. So I'm no longer really focused on this video, so I don't need to work. I just want to work on my new one. So I'm going to go ahead and import the scratches video and um, I want to just make sure I'm still on the right sequence which I am so I'm on what's available as my basketball player that's black and white and if you need to look for the right sequence because it always adds another sequence in there um, look for the correct sequence and then I'm going to take this scratches hair and dust video and just drop it over top of the basketball one so it's i'm on video two layer it's on the basketball one is on video one layer and if i play it i have this tiny little scratch video on top of my my basketball one so got to do some editing and the first thing i want to do is go to i need to find a panel called effect controls. I'm going to close my panel just in case you don't have one there. To open it up, you go to window, effect, controls, or shift five will open that up. And I'm going to click on my video that I want to edit. The first thing I want to do is we're going to be using this panel a lot upcoming, but it's tricky. So we're just going to get familiar with it. So if you want to move something to the left or to the right, this would be your X axis. So I'm just I, if you hover over the number, you can click and drag to the right or to the left. I don't need to change the position, so I'm kind of undoing that. If I want to move it up and down, I can drag it to the right and to the left here for here. I don't need to move its position. I do need to change its scale, though. So I'm clicking on this 100. I'm going to hold my mouse button down and drag it so that it's fitting on top of that basketball video. So it's covering it up. Problem with it is, if I play it, I can't see my basketball player anymore. I just want to see the cracks overlaying this. So I'm going to take this back to the beginning and go back to my effect controls panel. And in here, I was working under motion before to find these other things. You can see there's rotation. There's a couple other things you can experiment with just to see what they do. But I don't need to fix anything else right now. So once I made a change, I didn't undo Control Z after I rotated. I am interested in um, the effects. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my video. And in effects, I'm going to look for this normal or blend mode. And I'm going to change this either to overlay or I'm going to change it to screen. So the scratch video that I just had, um, I think it looks better as a screen than overlay. It looks too dark. So screen, and if I hit play, I can kind of see those scratches every now and then. That really gives me that vintage effect. So you're free to download any of my vintage overlays um, that are there, and you can use those for your video. And you just created a vintage looking video. Oh. While I'm here, this is just a little bit longer. I would want to edit that up a little bit as well. So always watch how long your overlays are. So I would come in here and over, uh, make sure they both end at the same time. Now they do. Now I can export and I have a vintage looking video.